Welcome to Video Edition. Today we'll be discussing two hot topics in education news, career and technical education and cyber charter school funding. In this episode, PSBA's John Callahan talks with Representative Kurt Sonny about the importance of career and technical education. Representative Sonny also discusses House Bill 526, which would provide cyber charter school funding reform, one of our key topic areas at this year's Advocacy Day. Well, welcome to Video Edition, and I'm, I have the honor of being here with our new House Education Chair. I guess not so new, but new House Education Chair. New. Representative Kurt Sonny with the 4th District in Erie. Um, so all the way up in the, the corner of the state um, where, where, wow, where we have, we have, you have so many school districts. I was looking at your, your map. You have so many school districts in your legislative district. Yes. That are fantastic. And um, one of the things I wanted to kind of get into is you, your background in education is also very interesting and, and I think fantastic for your perspective on the committee. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about that uh, first. Um, sure, sure. Um, you know, I, I've always built myself as just a working guy um, because I love to work. And, and uh, part of the reason that I love to work is because of the education that I received. Um, and, and quite frankly, most of that was adult education um, in career technical, but it was adult education. It was uh, what was affordable for a, you know, a guy that, that got married young and, and started having children and didn't have any money, but, but um, I also knew the importance of, of gaining more education. You know, if you're going to, um, I, I was uh, beginning to do construction on my own at that time, and there was so much I didn't know. I knew how to build the house, but I didn't know how to do the electrical wiring in it. And so, you know, I, I began by taking electrical courses, um, you know, um, one after the other after the other. So I literally went years of taking adult education continually to take every course till its finality and then pick up on another one. Again, it was such an inexpensive way, you know, to get a great education of hands-on experience. And, and that seems to, I mean, maybe I'm taking a leap, but it seems to have translated into maybe the first things that came out of the committee uh, which was like a career and technical education package. Yes. And maybe you can talk a little bit about that package because uh, some great bills in there and, and things that we've supported. And well, and, and there are a number of great bills. It, it was, a, I believe, an eight-bill package. And, um, um, you know, but the, the bottom line is it's, it's really an awareness package. We seem to, um, that in today's world, you know, we spent so many years telling every student that you need to go to college, you need to go to college, you need to go to college. And, you know, employers are saying you need to go to college, and, and that is shifting today, and, and we realize that, that that's not the answer for everyone. And, and that, um, you know, our industries need good qualified people to come in and work, and, and our commercial um, and, and uh, industries need good qualified people. And the only way they're going to get that is through career and technical training, um, you know, whether it is when you're in high school or whether it is when you're an adult, um, through uh, either a certificate or a degree program. Um, but but it, it's, it's so important and you know and it, one of the things that has kind of amazed me a little bit in the short time that I've been chairman is is how many different groups have been in to, to tell me the, the shortage of workers that they see coming in their field. You know so it, when the first one came in it's like you know okay you know there's a potential problem there but then it was one after the other after the other after the other so you know it really goes across all aspects of life. And so, you know, we need people everywhere. We need people to be trained for all aspects. And, and the forgotten one seems to really be the career and technical education. And, and, and there is a very high demand and they're great paying jobs. And so we just want to make sure that people are aware so that they're making good decisions, you know, on, on what they're going to be doing with their lives moving forward. Yeah, and they, they are high paying jobs. I mean, I, I, I think those, uh, I had a friend that graduated as a welder and I was like, geez, I should have graduated as that. It would have come out of, out of uh, high school. With a with whatever class welding certificate and could have been making a lot more than I was spending on college at least. You know? Yes. So pretty you know pretty dynamic going through that kind of with the committee, and now you know what's what's a buzz in the the education committee of course is your piece of legislation House Bill 526 dealing with cyber schools, and maybe some of the your perspective of, of where that legislation came about and, and what are you doing now because um, we've also been told you, you're visiting different schools across the state right now. Um, where do you see that going right now? Well, first of all, I do believe in the bill, okay? Um, but I also want to do my due diligence on the timing. In other words, you know, I want to um, go out and see firsthand exactly 
what type of cyber programs are being offered on the public education side, and also what are these the, the cyber industry? What are they offering? Um, and exactly how much programming they have, how much live teaching that they have. You know, it, it's it's um, it's kind of a really diversified area when you really sit back and go in and, and look at it. Um, and and there's a you know uh, there's issues already that I've. Um, obviously been able to recognize that absolutely exist, you know, within the, the cyber world. Um, and, and I hope in the future to, to start to address some of those issues. Um, but, but I really believe it's important f for me to do that due diligence, not just myself, but with the committee as much as we can. So, you know, we're going to go on the road a little bit. We're going to go to Philadelphia so we can look at public and and, and uh, brick and mortar charters and cyber charter, and we'll do the same thing in Allegheny. And, and I want to take the committee to one of the wealthier school districts in this Commonwealth and one of the poorer school districts in the Commonwealth. I think it's important that we really see all of this to experience it firsthand to really get a better grasp on what really and truly is the difference here. Um, and so that's where we're headed. Great. I mean, that's great work because uh, you have so many I mean, freshman legislators on yes. your committee as well. That kind of, there's a lot to learn. And we were saying that before this interview, like there's a lot to learn in education. So many issues. Um, one of the things that we wanted to thank you for is not only doing, you know, the, the cyber bill education bill that you're talking about, a lot of education and PSBA mm -hmm. supports it, obviously. Um, but one of the things we noticed is you were visiting all your, your schools recently. Yes. Uh, so I wanted to thank you for that. And, and maybe encourage the, our, our members as well to bring their legislators into their schools so they can see what it takes to kind of run these schools. Um, what's the, just to kind of close this out, what's the one thing, I mean, when you've been visiting those schools, one of the things you've, you've seen or, or have taken away from those visits? It's very clear to, right off the bat, to understand that everybody is really doing a great job. They are, you know, they, they've, they have a, a lot of issues that they have to deal with. And, and although every school district has their own set of issues and their own set of challenges, you know, they continually work very hard every day to try to, and address those and work with those. I re do realize that the challenge on the public side today is, you know, on their part what appears to be some neglect, you know, on the other side of those choices um, as far as um, accountability. And, and, um, and that is a concern of mine. Um, also, and that's you know, just another area that, it, that I think it's important that instead of jumping to a conclusion, that I that I go out and visit firsthand, see it, um, and, and better understand it. Well, we're looking forward to, to it, and, and it's um, it's been great to sit just sit down for a few minutes with you and go through these issues and kind of see your perspective on the committee and your work on the the charter issues probably coming up and work on career and tech. Can't thank you enough, Mr. Chairman, for for doing this and and connecting with our members today. So appreciate it. Happy to do it. Thank you. Thanks for watching Video Edition. For more resources on legislation affecting career and technical education and on cyber charter school funding, see PSBA's legislative report in your email inbox or on our website. And you can read more on our issues page under the Advocacy and News tab at PSBA.org. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for the latest in education news affecting your district.